Hey, what's up? I'm Tiffany, and this is MMA Confidential. It's certainly no understatement to say that the world of MMA is unpredictable. This week, our own Bruce Kivo headed out to Tom's River, New Jersey, to see how UFC fighter Frankie Edgar's training was coming for his upcoming fight on December 5th against Kurt Pellegrino. Well, between then and now, Pellegrino had to pull out due to an injury. In his place, we've got Matt Veach, who's gonna face Edgar. And I gotta say, Edgar is ready for anything or anyone. Hi, I'm Bruce Kivo, MMA Confidential. I'm here at Ricardo Almeida's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy in Hamilton, New Jersey. We're here to watch Frankie Edgar prepare for his upcoming fight. What do you think about the uh, the possibility that he's going to make the weight for the fight and then maybe come in maybe 10 or 15 pounds heavier? Uh, yeah, it's uh, not new for me. Um, all the guys I fight are pretty much bigger than me. Uh, all the guys I train with are bigger than me, so it's, uh, it's pretty much uh, what I'm used to. I'm here with Ricardo Almeida. This is Frankie Edgar's uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instructor. Frankie walks around like, like close to 155. What do you think is going to happen? You know, is that going to be an advantage for him, the, uh, the weight? I think definitely early, probably. He definitely has a little bit of a size advantage, and that you know, can make the difference early. But we are preparing Frankie for that. Uh, I think Frankie knew that when he took the fight. You know, Frankie is a small, uh, lightweight, but he's able to throw guys around. You know, he was able to, to control Sturk, who is much bigger than Kurt Pellegrino, and, and looks much stronger than Kurt, too. So uh, I don't see him having a problem with that. Yeah, that, that was totally amazing the way he handled uh, Sean Sturk. Do you think it was a step down? Do you think he should have got a fight with uh, someone else, like Diego or someone else? Uh, I would have liked to see uh, Frankie get a fight with Diego or somebody like that, but uh, you can't go into the fight thinking that it's a step down. Like The moment that you think that somebody is a step down, that's when you get beat. Uh, all these guys won the UFC, they're the best fighters in the world. Uh, he hasn't really done as much as a guy like Diego or a guy like Shirt, but uh, you know he could be uh, Frankie just the same way. From our part, we're just doing everything we can to get Frankie ready, uh, make sure that he gets this win and uh, maybe look on uh, onto, you know, perhaps a title shot in the future. Since you changed to uh, Team Henzo, you have a chance to, to train with John Donahue, Dante, Rivera, and a lot of other people. Do you think that gives you an advantage over uh, a lot of fighters? Yeah, I mean, uh, to have these guys at, at, my, uh, at my access is just phenomenal. I mean, uh, to have Henzo and Ricardo and John, you know, just to pick their brain and see what uh, their outtake on, on a lot of the stuff is. And I'm still pretty pretty green when it comes to jiu-jitsu, I mean, compared to a lot of guys. Uh, I feel very comfortable doing it now. But, uh, you know, it's just uh, phenomenal to have these guys, um, you know, in my corner. And what does this fight mean to you? Oh, you know, it's just like any other fight. Um, I want to win badly, uh, like I do any other fight. Uh, you know, it's just uh, another step into, to, towards the title. I believe, uh, you know, I have a... Uh, I mean, it's a pretty good record where I think I'm close to it. Um, I feel with a couple more wins, maybe just one more win, you know, I don't know, it's depending on what the UFC feels, uh, you know, I'm close, so I, I gotta make sure I get this one. Injuries are part of any sport, and MMA is no exception. Check out this amateur video that I found on the MMA channel on Inisec TV. <laughs> Proper equipment is essential. Okay guys, take a deep breath and ready yourself for this week's look at the Twitter posts from the world of MMA. Nate Quarry posts, UFC lesson for the day. Don't hang out with wise guys and loose women, but mostly wise guys. Rock Quarry was also concerned with his trick or treat take. Everybody bought their candy at Costco. Where are the gummy mummies, the wax lips? Hey Nate, Maybe the wise guys snatched them all up and gave them to the loose women. Gosh, I am so smart. <laughs> well, that's it for this edition of MMA Confidential. For Bruce Kivo, I'm Tiffany Smith, and I'll see you next time.